First, I'm going to explain what would happen if you had x cubed squared. Well, you would have x cubed times x cubed. You can add exponents in that case, so you can do x to the 3 plus 3. And then 3 plus 3 is the same thing as 3 times 2. So at the very beginning, when you saw x to the 3 to the 2, you could have just done x to the 3 times 2, which of course is x to the 6. Using similar logic, let's look at the stuff in pink. 4x cubed squared is the same thing as 4x cubed times 4x cubed. You can rearrange it to its 4 times 4 times x cubed times x cubed. 4 times 4 is 4 squared, x cubed times x cubed is x cubed squared. In fact, in general, no matter what two things you're multiplying together inside of parentheses, when you're squaring it, you can always square the first thing and then square the second thing. So a b squared is equal to a squared b squared. Let's look at how that works. It's very similar to what we did in pink. a b squared is really a b times a b. And then you can rearrange it to its a times a times b times b. a times a is a squared. b times b is b squared. So that's a nice rule that you could use in general. So once you have that, you get 4 squared x cubed squared. Well, 4 squared, let's just rewrite that as 16. And x cubed squared, let's rewrite that as x to the 6. Well, we also had 2x in the bottom, so I finally put that in the bottom here. But at this point, you can just cancel out 16 and 2 to make it an 8. And if you start with x to the 6 on the top, and you've got an x on the bottom, <coughs> you're going to cancel one of those x's with one of the x's up top, so you're not going to have five six x's anymore, you're going to have five. So the answer is eight x to the five, and that's it. There's nothing on the bottom. 